Hello everyone. Today we are going to make an absorption effect. We can absorb the particles sampled by the character into a sphere or any meshes. Of course, we can adjust the absorption location at will. Yes, we can set it anywhere. Okay, now let's see how to create this effect. If we just create the absorption effect, we don't need to modify the character's material. But if we want to dissolve or disappear the character to match Niagara, we need to modify the character's material. In previous videos, we have used many ways to create it. So in this video we will not show the character material part. Let's create Niagara directly. First, the commonly used settings. Life cycle, loop behavior, etc. Set loop duration to 5 seconds. Now add spawn rate and set it to 5000. OK. Then adjust the particle size. Set it to 10 for preview. Then add sampled skeletal mesh location. If we want to sample a static mesh, just search for static mesh. And don't forget to select sampling type to triangle, so that the particles we see will be attached to the surface of the character. By the way, we also need to set particle position. Set it to sampling mesh position. Now put Niagara into the level and attach it to the skeletal mesh. So we can see that the particles have sampled the triangle of the entire character. Next we need to move the particles to the absorbed location. So let's add a user parameter vector to store this location. And a shape location in particle spawn. This is where the particles will be absorbed. Set sphere radius to 10. Then set shape origin to the absorb location. So that the absorb location can be changed at any time in the level. OK, next we get Sphere Position, add position in the particle parameters. And we have to pay attention to the order of the modules. Now because we read the parameters of the module before setting the Sphere location. So the particle spawn part is set, then in the particle update, we can add some force modules to make these particles move. First add linear force. The force amount uses multiply vector by float, vector use normalize and subtract. Use the final position, that is the sphere position. minus the current particle position. So we can get the direction the particle needs to move. Then float use a curve to dynamic control the amount of the force and select the mode to world space. Okay, only this module is needed to complete the movement of particles. Next, we will add more force modules to make the particle's movement meet our expectations, such as curl noise force, to make the movement more random. The force amount uses a gradually decreasing curve, and these frequency settings can be set freely. Then add a drag from 1 to 0. which should be fine. Manually set the absorption location in the level. Yes, we can see that the particles will move from the surface of the character to the absorption location. Next, add vortex velocity. This module has been deleted in versions above 5.3. 
If we are using a higher version, we can copy this module directly. In Vortex Velocity, we need to set its force and axis. The force set to 20,000. Yes, the effect is very good. The particles will rotate around the axis, then we set the axis when the particles move, its principle is the same as the setting in the linear force, but we don't need the z-axis. So use make vector here, set for the x, y, and z-axis respectively. Use the sphere position minus the simulation position and select the correct axis. The same is true for the y-axis and z-axis is zero. Okay, so its movement is basically in line with our expectations. There is one more thing. We now see that the rotation center of these particles is character's root, because the default origin in Niagara is the simulation position, which is zero. If we want to change the rotation center to the character's center, we can add 90 units of the z-axis to the origin. The height of the character is 180 units, so the center position is about 90. It is still in world space. Okay, this is the effect we need. We also change the particle size to 1, spawn rate to 100,000, and the color to red, which looks better. Next, we can create a blueprint to use this effect more conveniently. First, get the world location of the scene route, which is the location where the particles are absorbed. Then add spawn system. Niagara needs to be attached to the character, so add a skeletal mesh actor variable to select the character in the level. get skeletal mesh component. Connect to Niagara. Now set the scene root location into the user parameters of Niagara. Variable name can be copied. Finally set the character variable to public in the details panel. That's it, a simple absorption effect. If we want to sample the color of the character's triangle, it is also very simple. In previous video showed the use of G-Buffer to achieve this. First, we need to create a material. Set the blend mode to masked, enable two-sided. Its basic color is still the particle color. As for metallic and roughness, these need to be set by dynamic material parameters. The first is metallic, the second is specular, and the third is roughness connect them. The opacity mask channel can use the alpha channel in the particle color multiplied by dither temporal AA and radial gradient exponential. So that we can make a material with a gradient edge. Then we need to create a new module in Niagara to sample the color of the character's triangle. Add G buffer and particle position. Get decode scene color in G buffer and convert the particle position to screen space UV.
then connect the output to the particle color. But it should be noted that we do not need G buffer samples the alpha channel. So let's set these channels break. Alpha to 1, that's it. Then we can also set the metallic, specular, and roughness as needed. In the same way, Connect to the dynamic material parameters. And finally set particle renderer to the material we just created. Now we can see that the particles will sample the color of the character's triangle surface. The effect is good. We can also modify the color of the character. such as setting it to blue. Play so that the particles will sample blue. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope you like it. Bye.